That China is a global superpower, we all know. Its economic data leaves no doubt about that. Or does it? Can we trust these numbers? Currently, China ranks second as the world's largest economy and is not only great in the economy. The country is at the top of the world's largest population ranking, along with India, with about 1.41 billion people. India, in second place, has a population of 1.39 billion people. Together, these two countries account for 35% of the world's population. All of these people help make China a true power in the global market. China is known for being in a trade war against the United States and for being the world's largest exporter of products. With the ease of purchasing on sites like AliExpress and Shine, consumers end up helping the Chinese economy grow a little more. In addition, China is also known as the center of product and technology manufacturing, which provides a competitive advantage in the international market. Its main trading partners are Australia, India, South Korea, the United States, Germany, and the United Kingdom, which contributes to the strength of the Chinese economy. Although it does not consider itself a capitalist country, China is one of the countries that knows how to exploit capitalism the most. This raised approximately $2.6 trillion last year. Even though it is so big, it seems that they are also masters at camouflaging their numbers and what happens within the country. During the global health crisis we went through, China reported having only 1,890,000 cases of the disease and only 5,235 deaths, suspicious numbers that made many question the veracity of the statistics sent by China, not only regarding diseases, but also regarding economic indicators. Is China also suspicious regarding its own economy? What are the reasons to believe that China lies in its data? Why can these numbers be so important? Stay with me until the end of this video and I will answer all these questions. Before continuing the video, I want to ask you who likes the channel a small favor. I noticed that our video deliveries have recently dropped, and although YouTube is undergoing a reformulation, the feeling is that this is not the only reason for the drop. As a content consumer, you are not obligated to know about the mechanics of the platform, but if you want to help our channel, pay attention to this information. Your like is worth a lot. Your dislike however, doesn't say anything about the video but rather about what you like to watch and the topics you are interested about. Therefore, if you don't like a topic or video here on the channel, never leave a dislike. By doing so, YouTube will end up understanding what you don't like about the channel and will stop notifying you about new videos that may please you. If you liked the video, please like it and leave brief comment on what you liked. If the topic doesn't appeal to you, leave a comment saying what you didn't like and suggesting a topic that you would like more and use the hashtag constructive criticism. In this way, I will produce content based on your preferences, making the channel very personalized to your taste. If you're not used to commenting, it's also possible not to receive notifications, even if you're subscribed and have the bell activated. Speaking of which, check your subscription and also see if the bell is activated, and leave that like too. This helps us a lot, and it doesn't cost you anything. Thank you very much. And now let's get back to the video. China is governed by a communist party. However, from the 90s, the country took a different direction in international trade. Due to its cheap labor, many international companies established themselves in its territory, using the local population to manufacture their products. This influx of foreign companies allowed China to receive different types of products from various countries, thus increasing its level of global exports. With this exponential growth, China became a true export machine, taking the lead in the world ranking of exports. It is likely that if you look around now, you will find several products manufactured in the Asian giant, such as your cell phone, computer, or even the TV you are watching. Another thing you will likely easily find is the subscription button. So please subscribe and leave your like to help us. 
Regarding exports, even with so many being made worldwide, China does not live in such a liberal system internally. On the contrary, its internal policies are very private and criticized by many analysts. Many even name the Chinese government system as the Chinese dictatorship because the country's inhabitants do not have the same facilities as international buyers. The reality is far from this, as even over the years, Chinese labor remains cheap and rigid. We must redouble our efforts and continue with the firm will to advance the cause of socialism with Chinese characteristics and achieve the great rejuvenation of the Chinese nation and the Chinese dream, said the Secretary General of the Communist Party of China at a party convention. This statement represents the great goal of the Communist Party of China, which is to advance the Chinese state at all costs, adopting a system called by many market socialism. This does not mean improvements for its population, but rather that the government state of the country can be recognized internationally for its achievements in the economy and the global market. Currently, many demonstrations have been taking place on Chinese territory against mistreatment in the form of work and also due to an increase in economic and health crises that have affected the country in recent years. Despite many controversies surrounding its society, China has been presenting alarming economic numbers, technological advancements, and market progress that surpass any other country in the world. These numbers, if true, will make China overtake the United States in 2027, assuming the position of the world's largest economy. Currently, Americans have a nominal GDP of about $25.4 trillion, while the Chinese have a nominal GDP of $19.9 .9 trillion. The difference between China and the third place, which is Japan, is nearly $15 trillion. This represents a significant threat to global politics and especially to the West, as China has taken some actions that demonstrate its real interest. In the Russia-Ukraine war, for example, China has shown itself to be a true ally of Russia, sending troops for joint exercises and supporting Russia in United Nations councils. In the event of a war with a financially strong China and an ally of Russia, things could be quite different compared to the events of World War II. But do the numbers presented by China really reflect its reality? What does it mean to become the world's largest economy? Although its economic numbers are alarming and serve as indicators and warnings to the world, China has been falling into some contradictions in its statistics. Economic indicators reveal a contradiction to be seriously considered by the world and its leaders. It is noted that their economy is on the rise but has not yet reached its level of equality compared to Japan and the United States in terms of social indicators. Despite its GDP growth, its human development indicators are not keeping up with this growth, which may explain the many social demonstrations that occur throughout the country. This makes it seem like the Chinese government is much more concerned with showing off its economic data as a provocation to the West than really advancing socially with the economy. The World Bank calculates production as follows, consumption plus investment plus government spending plus export numbers. It is not easy to calculate China's real economic value, as a good part of its internal economy is done informally. Only 2% of its population pays regular taxes, making it difficult to get a real count of its economic indicators. Therefore, the country presents data sent by its own government, which, incidentally, emphasizes export numbers more. However, in its human development numbers, they cannot present major changes. To give an idea, China currently ranks 77th in the Human Development Index, showing that the country is not growing socially. This shows us that transmitting an economic image using tax records is not so reliable since more comprehensive data is needed. In addition, corruption is well known there, which raises suspicions when the country deals with complex economic numbers. The obligation to present positive numbers to the world every year means that possible alterations of data that inform its economic situation can indeed happen. In 1990, 
a Chinese government employee reported that the GDP information for that year was purely made up by hands and men. Reports like this are not common due to the government system used by them. According to some analysts, the harsh punishments imposed by the Chinese government on those who violate its norms may make people within the government afraid to speak out. However, it cannot be said that China lies in its data. What we have now are contradictions of a country that clearly has global objectives, and these objectives are in line with the economic influence gained through its large export expansion. However, as its way of working internally is well closed to the world's eyes, it is difficult to know the real danger for nations that compete directly with them. One thing we cannot deny is that China is a superpower with a huge industry and several megacorporations, but are they really that close to United States economy? Do you think China will dominate the world with its growing export economy, or will its domestic policy hinder this objective? Leave your comment down below. I would like to see your opinion. Before you leave, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of the upcoming videos. Thank you very much for your company and see you next time.